I'm going to show you the chords um, to another brick in the wall, to the rhythm part anyway. It starts out with a D minor on the 5th fret. So if you don't use that chord, just do uh, an A minor shape that you're familiar with. If you use your 2nd, 3rd and 4th finger, move it up. You've got B minor at the 2nd fret, C minor at the 3rd, and D minor at the 5th fret. It's David Gilmore's damping the chord in between striking it, so you don't want it just to ring out steady. You want to dampen it and uh, just make short, abrupt, staccato sort of sweeps with your hand. Just listen to the rhythm anyway on the uh, album and see what you come up with. The second chord long is a G which uh, would be a bar chord at the 3rd fret. I actually play that um, just with my thumb over the 6th string. And uh, it's just a little more comfortable shape for me and I also just want the higher treble strings on this one. So that's the first two. So the uh, those two chords again, I'll just pick them and make it dead clear to you. Here's the D minor, the first chord. And the G at the third fret. And you add um, both bass, or in my case, just the sixth string. And then it comes back to D minor. This is actually a D minor, an abbreviated D minor. I'm barring three strings at the 10th fret, 3rd, 2nd, and 1st. And then he goes to a C chord, an abbreviated C, which is that F shape at the 8th fret. Back to the D minor. A G. And this G, I'm doing it like a D form at the seventh fret. So we've got So if you were to do a D minor C and G in the first position, it'd sound like this. Just so you can see the relationship. And then an F chord. C. Back to the D minor. So F bar chord on the first fret. And then C open C chord. And that D minor, your first chord. So all together we've got uh, D minor, G, back to D minor, and C, back to D minor. Well, that's all I was going to show you. Okay, hope that works out. Thanks.